Good evening, everybody. My name is James Kegel. I'm a second year student in the Computer Information Systems Program at uh, Treasure Valley Community College in Caldwell, Idaho. My instructor's name is Dustin Mason. Uh, today we're going to be creating a video. Um, I have Windows Server 2008 R2 Edition installed on my computer within my VMware workstation and I'm going to be creating a virtual directory today. The last video we did, we installed the web server, the uh, IIS, and so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start. We're going to, we're going to click the Start button. We're going to go to Administrative Tools, okay, and then we're going to go to the IIS, the, uh, the Internet Information Services, which is right there. All right. Then we're going to click the plus sign over here next to here. Bam. Okay. We're going to click the plus sign instead of in front of the, the sites folder here. Okay. Then we got the default website right there. Okay. We're going to right click the default website and then we're going to click on um, add a virtual directory. Uh, add virtual directory. Okay. Now, so from here, we want to enter an alias for the virtual directory. You know, what do we want to call it? Uh, we're going to go ahead and just call it uh, uh, web, web doc. JC. And then we want to give it a, a place to reside. Uh, we're going to put it put it here so we'll go bam we're going to find users okay we're administrators and we're going to call web doc We're just gonna put it on C drive. Put it on the root. Put it on the root. There we go. Bam. There we go. Alright. Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to the tree under the default website. <coughs> oh, look at all that stuff. Alright, now we need to find it. We're gonna go. So we need to go find it. There it is. Okay. We're going to go edit permissions. Okay. And then we're going to go to the security tab. And we're going to do. We're going to. Well, we're just going to look and see who's got what, actually. Okay. So that's what they have the sharing. All right. So we could do actually do some advanced sharing. We could we could share this folder. We could share it there. We could apply it, but we're not going to share it. We're just going to cancel out of here, and we're just going to say close, and we're going to say okay. We've done it. Alrighty. So that's how you uh, create a virtual directory. Thank you for watching.